So I just got this cool little device. Um, it's basically an egg timer with some black paint on it to look cool. Because if you open it up, I mean, it's literally just an egg timer. But anyway, regardless, let's see what this thing can do. Twelve fifty, and uh, I'm getting a late start to today. In episode thirteen, I said I wanted to give you guys some stuff that you can walk away with on my vlogs, rather than just making it about my daily routine. And then on episode 14, I kind of had to recap everything that happened because I fell out of vlogging for like a week and give you guys some knowledge you can use and tools and tips so that, you know, this vlog is more of a tool rather than entertainment. All right, so when I vlog, uh, if you noticed, this is my room slash office. <laughs> when you're a freelance videographer, a photographer, that's pretty common. Nothing to be ashamed about that. Something that some people might say is a shame is here I have a couch, which is also my bed. Now, I know you must be thinking, okay, why would you sleep on a couch rather than having a bed? But there's a reason for it. I look up a lot about psychology when it comes to creating an office or in a workspace because I spend so much time working. One of the things I have learned is that there are tricks that you can do to yourself to make you more productive. Uh, having, you know, my bed technically so close to my workplace, it makes it really simple to wanna just flop down in bed while I'm like mid-edit. And this is like really bad because it's really simple. Like I can just really easily. <laughs> so what I do as a mind trick is convert the couch to a bed. Uh, and I sleep on that at night with sheets and pillows and everything and then during the day I set it back to the couch. It allows me to not see a bed in my workplace so that when I'm working, as you can see right now, it just looks like an office. I think the mindset behind this is I'd rather have more comfort in my workplace than in my resting place, which just kind of shows you the mentality I'm in right now. I know there's more effective ways of doing this, like a futon or something. I, I don't know. I. I just, it didn't bug me. And it's all it's honestly been this way for the past year and a half I've been in California. In today's vlog, I am going to take all my stuff out of here and convert another room in the house to our office. What I wanted to do is basically show you guys how to create your own office uh, out of any room that you have spare for like $500 or less, so that way you know how to do it on a budget. Okay, so I was totally gonna do the office thing, but a Blackmagic camera has become available, and I need a camera because I'm shooting a music video tomorrow, and I need a camera and a glide cam, so at least I now have a camera. So I'm gonna have to run to Hollywood real quick, then I'm gonna do the office thing for you guys. My bad. Starbucks to pick up the Black Magic blanket. Yeah. All right, so we just got out of Starbucks and we picked up the Black Magic 4K. Black Magic 4K. Got a backup battery, a solid state drive, everything I need to start shooting tomorrow for tomorrow's music video. So good to go. 6.05 and I have been geeking out for way too long on trying to get this rig exactly how I need it for tomorrow's music video shoot. But until then, we are getting ready to head out to Ikea to show you guys how to make your office for less than 500 bucks. All right, so the first thing is you're gonna start with some desks. You're gonna go with the Linmon uh, glossy high gloss white bills which is 6650 and this is going to be the corner piece that I already have but uh, that's 6650 and then we're going to get two big side pieces kind of like here uh, and build a little office in the living room. Thinking about the, again the color changing ones for underneath the desk. No yeah I want to get it. Then they would match the 
the wall, yeah. Goes from Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. Alright, so we just grabbed a really long Linmon tabletop. Now we're gonna head over to Helm Depot for some plants to decorate the office with. Also, I need a reflector for tomorrow's music video shoot. So if you go to the building materials section of Home Depot, you can actually get this foam board stuff, which is actually like perfect reflectors, and you have a silver side and a white side. So the office is coming along as you can see, um, we still have a lot of work to do but at least the furniture is getting there. But this is what you can do on a budget and uh, wait till we fill it up with equipment and we also got some cool more accent lights like those coming in for you guys. So there you go, there you have it. We have now converted the living room into our office as you can see getting there now the only problem is i gotta figure out what to do with all the room in my bedroom i do not know what to do with all this extra space I guess getting a bed is one thing for starters. Hope this uh, kind of helps you get an idea of how you can create an office in your house in any empty room or not even not an empty room, just make some room for some desk space and uh, you can convert it into an office. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm gonna go enjoy my office because there's nothing here to enjoy. But uh, you guys take care.